big week for the Eagles this week. How's the team looking? Yeah, it's really exciting. First opportunity to travel over to Richmond with um, the squad. So, yeah, looking really good. Um, had a great hit out last weekend against Frio. Um, but, yeah, we're just looking to, at the opportunity to play Richmond. We don't play them, obviously, in season, given the conference system. Um, but have a good look at them for the last sort of time to finalise our structures and things like that heading into round one. So just a great opportunity. And you just mentioned that scratch match with Frio. How's that for you playing your team? Yeah, there was a few nerves going into the game, for sure. Um, but within a couple of minutes, you get going and it all sort of dissipates. And one of the girls, when I sort of lined up against her, she threw in, oh, we miss you, as a, as a bit of a thing. It was kind of nice. Um, but yeah, really enjoyable experience. I was glad to sort of get those nerves out of the way ahead of round two. Um, I think for any player that changes clubs, you get those nerves. But yeah, I thought it was a great hit out, a good opportunity for us to play our first uh, match together as a team here at West Coast. Um, and yeah, got some really good takeaways from it. How important is it for you guys to play those games before it gets into the, to the actual competition? Oh, I think it's super important for the expansion teams. It's our first opportunity, like I said, playing together as a team and you're bringing girls in from various environments and teams that have come from different structures and different experiences and to get you all out on the park and playing together under a new coach and it's not just the players, like with the coaches, it's their first time as well with mm -hmm. Luke Dwyer and all um, our assistant coaches as well and getting us all functioning well as a unit together. So those experiences and opportunities to play in matches leading into the season are so important. Are you noticing a lot of similarities to when you started out at Freo, now you the start of two different teams? Are you seeing sort of the same, uh, maybe uh, things that some players are missing as they start a new, with a new franchise? Are you seeing that similarities between the start of free and the start of Eagles? Not really, to be honest. I think the resourcing around the AFLW programs are a lot different now to what they were in the first season. So I know coming in here and what the girls have got the first year players, they've got a really great um, support network around them. There's a lot more coaching staff, there's more support in the wellbeing uh, section, s &C numbers in terms of the staff that support the program are a lot greater. So these girls are coming in better prepared than what it was in season one. Um, and that's just come with growth of the competition over four years, which is really fantastic. Um, so I feel like they're better supported. And a lot of these girls have come through the female academies that have been supported by West Coast and Free over the last few years. So they've had that experience, I guess, in the elite environment leading into their contracts as well, which in my first year we didn't have. So I was coming essentially from an amateur league um, with fairly minimal elite experience, the most being from within the state programs. Um, but yeah, these girls have had more experience now leading into the seasons. How did the team sort of fare, I guess? Was it, did you sort of all click the way you expected to on field in that first match or is it where you want to be? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I feel like as a unit, the playing group is connected really well here. Um, like I said, we've had a number of girls come from different places. We've got the Irish girls, um, we've got Mika who's come from the Wallaroos, we've got girls, a number that have come from the Eastern States, from different clubs, but we've connected in a way that was better than I expected, to be honest. It's hard bringing a group of girls together in a really short time frame to gel on the field, but I think we've done it exceptionally well so far. I feel really connected with the group. Um, on field, we're still getting the structures refined out there, and it was our first game on the weekend, and there's a few things that don't always go right, but I feel like we learnt from the experience really well, and there was a lot of things that did go right, and we were quite predictable to each other out in the field, which is something that generally takes a lot of time to build when playing with each other. You personally had some major achievements when you were at Fremantle, but what do you want this season to be about for you? Um, like always, I think I go into every season with the same plan for myself and to be a really consistent and reliable teammate, um, you know, for all the girls that I play with. I pride myself on my work rate, so if my work rate's up, I'm really predictable to my teammates. They always know the level that they're going to get from me, um, the standard of my football that they can expect from me then I feel like I'm having a good season and I'm contributing in the way that I should to the team. So what does it mean uh, to be able to contribute to the bushfire appeal um, through the initiative from the club and also for Yeah, it was really meaningful. I think a lot of the girls, we had, um, we've got a group chat on WhatsApp and we talk about things, various different things all the time. And one thing that came up before um, the club announced this was that we really wanted to band together and do something for the bushfire appeals. And we've got Mads who's come from um, over in New South Wales and her family's in an area that has been affected. Um, so we really wanted to reach out and support and do whatever we can. And we threw around the idea of the profits from our derby going towards that. And I'm not sure how the process really happened behind the scenes with making that happen, but the fact that it did is exceptional. The girls are really wrapped about it. 
and I think it adds another dynamic for the meaning for the game. Everyone's built up the derby being the first Western derby as a big moment. You know, a lot of players have moved from Fremantle to West Coast, but now there's a real bigger cause for it, and that's important to us, and we're really grateful for that. Uh, any names to look out for that people might not have heard of heading into the, um, the start of the season? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like half our list, not many people know. So there'll be some big names that'll come out. I think Neve Kelly, one of our Irish recruits, she's got a set of burners on her. She can run all day. She's a fantastic girl and she's picked up the game really quickly. And I think she's going to have an impact in her first season. Um, I think Chantella Pereira, not too many people have heard from her. She's a um, Hawthorne VFLW player that we picked up. And she's a former um, WNBL girl and she was a very successful basketballer but she'll play a key back role for us and she's a fantastic athlete um, a really great person she's going to take most likely the you know than any other opposition's number one forward um, I'm not sure if she's playing this week if we've announced our team yet but she'll come into round one and she's going to be brilliant really looking forward to watching her play have you had a chance to speak as a group regarding expectations for this season what do you feel like the team is capable of in terms of, of how far you can go on the field this season well, from my experience leading into any season, you don't know. Um, there's been so much change in the competition over the first three years and it's quite unpredictable as to which teams are going to be really strong. So you go in with no expectations, but the expectation we do have on each other as a group is that we want to be really consistent with what we put out in the park, keep building and getting better as the season goes on. Um, you know, what that looks like overall across the competition and how many wins and losses, you can't really predict that. We don't know. We'll just see how we go. But I feel really confident that we're going to be consistent, we're going to get better as the season goes on and hopefully get some wins on the board too. You touch on the unknowns with, with the new teams and, and obviously there's a bigger player pool now, but you also touched on the, the expand, or improvement in professionalism. Do you feel like we're going to see a difference in the quality of the league now that there are a lot of, of new girls coming in from different backgrounds or, or do you feel like you know it, it, it will look similar to previous years? Yeah, I think every year everyone goes what's the quality and look like and it's been going on this really great scale of improvement um, last year people questioned adding two more teams to the competition what was that going to do but in fact the standard went up even better again i feel like the talent pool that's coming through the young girls the development they've had it makes them ready for aflw um, at a faster sort of rate than what was happening previously so i think that the competition will cope with the expansion really well this year and I feel like those girls that have um, come on our list, some of them played in the first or second season of AFLW and maybe came off a list. They had a bit more time to grow as players and then found themselves back on a list again. So they're ready to go. The first year players that we've selected are really excellent ones and a lot of them have signed two year contracts. So we know that we're gonna get more out of them as the years go on as well. Um, so it's really exciting. And I feel like the competition standard is just gonna continue to grow. Well, how confident do you sort of feel in this team, I guess? compared to Freo when they started in their first year and you guys are starting this year as your first year, do you feel like you guys can come out and be that dominant team, that you can come out and sort of really come out of the blocks kind of thing? Uh, like I said, I have no expectations around that. Uh, from my experience the first season of AFLW at Fremantle there was a huge weight of expectation that we were going to come out and win the competition with very little knowledge of the players that were coming in. Um, again we've got a number of first year players and we've also got some experienced players but you just don't know. You don't know how teams are going to gel together, you don't know how other teams are going to fare. Injuries can be massive, particularly at AFLW when you've got a smaller list. You've got 30 on the list and you get a couple of key injuries and you're down to some limited players in terms of that aspect. So you don't know, um, no expectations, but we're gonna give it a red hot crack. You talk about how fast this is all rolling. What's the evolution been like since when you guys first came together as a group to now almost right into the season? Um, I don't know, I feel like I clicked with a lot of the girls pretty early on. Um, most of the girls that have come back, even the ones that play for other clubs, um, had played early footy in WA, so I knew them and had experiences. Emma Swanson, I played a lot of state footy with her before she went off to GWS. Um, Mackenzie Darrick played at state league level with her. So there wasn't a huge amount of girls that I hadn't already sort of played with or against in the team. Um, but yeah, it all happened pretty organically, pretty quickly. I feel like we're a bunch of oddballs in our own way, but we clicked together and it's nice. There's not many egos, if any, in the team. Everyone's really approachable, genuine, and that's helped with forming that connection off-field. And I think if you've got a great connection off-field, that only means positive things on-field.